Hi, welcome back on this X Monad, a beautiful wallpaper about the left brain and the right brain. We're going to go and have another look at xmonad.hs, and this time we're going to look at the keyboard shortcuts. There are plenty of keyboard shortcuts in Arco Linux, and the idea is when we navigate from XFCE, Openbox, i3, Xmonad, PSPWM, awesome. Then we jump into another desktop, but the keyboard shortcuts navigate with us. So when I go to any other desktop, a Super E should do something for me, and a Super F1 should do something for me, especially in uh, tiling window managers. The others, we've left them more or less alone. But tiling window managers, we need to have these keyboard shortcuts. They are basically keyboard driven. So my message in i3 is always read the configuration file. It's again, the same message here. If you want to launch something and make it an, an easy um, desktop system, an efficient desktop system, you need to just let the fingers do the work. So a Super F3 is going to launch Inkscape. This is this line. A Super F2 is going to launch Atom. And if you like, if you don't like Atom, and you say, I want to launch Genie instead of it, well, just type it, save. It's going to be Genie next time, all right? So it's all up to you. But I wouldn't change the keyboard shortcuts themselves unless you know what you're doing, because you can't have, of course, a double. You can't uh, launch two, well, you can launch two applications with the same keyboard shortcut, but it would not be smart. So there are already lots of keyboard uh, uh, shortcuts used. You just go over and read them. So the mod mask is super, super F8. And here is the shift, so super, shift, and then we have tunar if we press return. And super shift D is going to be the D menu. So that's the way I usually uh, get to my menus. But there is, of course, super F12, F11, eight, Alt F2, Alt F3. All the shortcut keys are in here. Control Alt keys, Control Alt, and then an A gives you XFCE for app finder but also tunar etc etc okay you try them out here are the old keys alt f alt n alt p alt r etc there's also the shift alt to have a wall changer this is the pi wall coloring system control shift escape quite useful and then you know what's going on in your system some multimedia keys so it's not a key per se, it's a, a specific key that you either have or not have on your keyboard that is going to mute the sound or lower the sound, raise the volume and some brightness keys here, X backlight. And the same for toggling, next, previous and stop. And if you're um, not using NCM PCPP, I hope I say it correctly, then maybe you're using Spotify and if you want to use your codes, your keyboard uh, shortcuts, so I, I mean then by then the real keyboard buttons on your keyboard, then you need maybe to make sure that these guys are active and not these guys. So interchange them like so and just delete this line here and rebuild it. Control Shift R. And all these uh, elements, let's... Um, Let's stop here as for the tutorial. So all these things can be changed. It's all up to you. Um, but first I would suggest learn them, learn them. You'll see that it's gonna be the same in BSPWM and the same in, in um, Awesome and i3. So if you invest your time in one of our tiling window managers, you'll get a super start in the others. All right, enjoy.